Hey everyone! So, it's been a little while since I posted a vlog of just me talking. I don't really feel the need to make excuses. I've just been stressed and busy and have not been prioritizing YouTube. Yeah, there it is. But I do miss doing this and I want to get back into the habit of making videos and I've been wanting to make this particular video for a while because I've seen a lot of people do it. I think it started with Ava Gordy doing it several several years ago where she started making a video addressed to herself in two years every two years and kind of like answering questions and like keeping up with herself through that and my partner Ezra recently did it too. This is a really transformative part of my life and I think it would be cool for the version of me in two years to get to kind of talk to this version of me because in two years I'll have hopefully graduated from undergrad and I will hopefully <laughs> be uh, figuring out what I'm doing about grad school or uh, I should know by then. Yikes. And so yeah I'm just gonna be a really different person by then and I think it's just cool to be able to reflect in this way. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm gonna just talk a little bit about where I'm at in my life right now to just give a little perspective for everyone watching and also a little reminder for myself in two years. Right now I am probably the most stressed I've been in my whole life. I'm entering my junior year of college and I am trying to get internships that are related to what I want to do with my life which what's that? I am trying to get an apartment um, and I doubt you'll forget the stressful <laughs> situation that was happening with apartment hunting at this point. I'm in this lovely apartment. Lovely apartment. I'm currently living in Brooklyn in this apartment which you will remember was your first and hopefully worst apartment experience ever of your whole life. It's a bit of a shithole, but you only have to be here for like another month and then you're gonna find a new place to live. Uh, I'm really struggling financially, which has been a big stressor, and I guess I'm hoping that the version of me watching this is doing a little bit better, has a little more figured out, uh, has a little bit more source of income. I'm 19 years old, almost 20, so the me in the future watching this will be 21, almost 22. Math. Cool, so let's talk to 2020 Mel. Let's go. Pulling out some questions to ask. Did you graduate? I hope you did because, oh boy, you've been working a little bit too hard to not graduate. I mentioned this before. What are you doing about grad school? Because right now, I am very stressed about what to do going forward with my education because I am studying psychology and it is very hard to have a major in psychology and a bachelor's degree and not continue with further education. And I don't know if I want to get a master's degree or a PsyD, a PhD, like I, all of that's just lost in me and I don't know what to do. Um, and I'm very stressed about paying for grad school. You should have that figured out by now as you'll hopefully be entering that point of your life by now. And spinning off of that, what are your ideas at the moment for a career path? Because right now you are struggling to find exactly what you want to do, but you know you want to work in some sort of mental health service and you also know you want to extend those services specifically toward helping the LGBT community. You know, I'm looking into that kind of stuff right now and seeing what's out there, but I'm not 100% sure where I want to go with that yet. So maybe you're a little bit more sure. Do you have a dog yet or a cat? You've really been on like a, wanting a cat kick because it's too hard to take care of a dog at this point in your life, but you think maybe you can make a cat work. So have any pets? Probably not. That's a little, a little bit of a reach, but I really hope you do. What's up with your friend group right now on the internet or otherwise? Right now things have been really weird in kind of feeling like you're starting to get friend groups and then those like not really staying as close-knit as you wanted them to. I'm just really hoping that at some point in my young adult life I will have like a really tight 
close group of friends. So that's the hope. So if you don't have that, I guess we gotta still work on that. <laughs> but I'm at least feeling a little bit better about the people that I'm around in college than I was like a year ago. Are you still excited to be officially out of undergrad? Or is it just more scary now? Because right now I'm like, ready to get this done. Like, I am looking forward to graduating. I am, like, not holding on to these two years that I have left. I just really want to get it done and move on and, like, get things going with a career because, whoo, it's a time. But also it's going to be so different and you're scared of change, <laughs> at least right now you are. So I just want to know how you're feeling about being out of undergrad and how you're feeling about entering grad school if you're doing that. This is all under the assumption that that's what's going on in my life. <laughs> on a little bit more of a personal topic, how's the brain doing? Because you're doing a little bit better, uh, a lot better than you were doing in high school, you know, two years ago, which is super great and I'm really feeling grateful for that right now. But I know there's still a lot of work that I need to do on myself and a lot more coping mechanisms that I need to learn um, to deal with my mental health. I still have stuff that I need to figure out about myself and about how to treat myself. And I'm hoping that this, like every two years, having some sort of powerful revelation or change in lifestyle will make my brain a little bit better. So I guess we'll see if that trend upholds. And you've also just started taking antidepressants at this point, which you've noticed have been like super super helpful and I haven't talked about it on my channel yet one because I wasn't posting videos during this time period and two because I just want to know a little bit more about what my body is doing and how I'm reacting to it before I talk about it in depth you started about three months ago and they are definitely definitely super helping um, which is really good and really relieving. But they're making you super tired right now, so <laughs> that's a problem. So I guess I want to know how that ends up going in the next two years, how you've been able to work on yourself in that time. A more fun question, what is the coolest thing that you've done in the past two years? Like, what are you most proud of doing or accomplishing? That's not something that I usually feel like I have an answer to, and I really hope that changes, and I really hope that I get a new way of, like, going throughout the world and like actually being able to do things that I can say, ooh, that thing I did, super cool. Whether that's like an internship or just something completely different that ends up being really important to you. Are you still going to the gym regularly? And when I say still, I mean that when I wrote these questions three months ago, I was going regularly. And I have not since then because I don't have access to a gym for the summer. But when I do get back my access to the gym, um, I'm hoping that you will still be going regularly because it feels really good to like take care of your body. And right now you just want to feel like stronger physically because you're, you're a little weak right now and you want some muscle. <laughs> or do you have new self-fulfilling goals? Right now you're kind of thinking about taking up kickboxing or like wanting to at some point in the future. Did you do that? That would make me super happy if you did, because I want to be a fucking kickboxer. Don't let me down on that one. You've also started doing yoga, and you feel like that's something you want to keep doing regularly if you can. Um, but is there anything else new that you've uh, made a goal to do, um, physically or otherwise? And my last question is, how is your heart? While that sounds cheesy, I really care about how I'm feeling and how... I'm treating myself and treating others and how others are treating me. And I just want to know like how you feel. Are people being good to you? Are you being good to yourself? Do you feel like self-love more than you are right now? Um, what's, what's going on in the feelings department? And yeah, those are all my questions for 21 year old Mel. Just graduated college Mel. So what's gonna happen is I'm not gonna watch or think about this video for the next two years and I'm gonna come back to it with a fresh set of eyes and I'm gonna answer these questions and then hopefully do the same thing again for later Mel to see and I really think this would be a cool thing to keep doing to just keep track of how I'm growing as a person and how my expectations differ from reality and all that fun stuff.
So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time I post a video. In case you don't know, thought I'd throw out the reminder again, I do have a Patreon if you want to support me financially, if you're able. Uh, you get to sign up for what perk you want based on how much money you feel capable of donating per month. And um, yeah, completely, completely optional. But just thought I'd throw it out there. If you're interested, it will be linked on the screen and in the description. Uh, yeah. <sighs> it's so hot, I need to turn the air conditioner back on.